Hello everyone, thanks for the power of the internet, I gotta talk with you. And normally when I do these deck profiles and stuff, I have a general idea of what it does beforehand. I just knew Mygo was a menace. I didn't really look into it, because I knew it was in the JP side, and knew it was something that probably wasn't coming to America, but with the release of Divines, it did. And you know, I've been pulling a fair amount of them, and no one at my locals wants them. However, I wanted to know the reason, you know, why my go was doing so good. So, in getting ready for this, I figured out why. This deck is a menace. Going over it, so everything starts with your grade zero. Going second, you draw a card. Don't worry, that's fine. So you go to your grade one. When it rides on your grade zero, you can search for one Harakage, reveal it, and add it to your hand. That's your grade one music order. Which I think has a cool thing, that they actually go to back row, center behind your vanguard, and get retired at the end of the turn. Now, when you play this, you know, music, you search your deck or hand for one cryotic unit with grade less than or equal to your vanguard. There's only one in the deck. It's her, who basically retires herself if you try to call her normally. But, calling through the order, she gets to stay a little bit. And when your unit, other than a cryotic, so anything else you play, is placed during your turn, you put this into soul, and you draw a card. That itself is pretty insane. That you're getting an extra attacker, or an extra soul and a draw. We continue. The grade two, when you ride on the grade one, you look on the top seven and choose any Mygo, reveal it, put it into your hand. We'll get into what some of these things do. I just cared about the orders in the grade three. Whatever everything else in between did was just extra. Now, here's your main vanguard. Soul Blast one, so once again, you know, the grade one who retires herself, you know, going into soul and drawing card isn't so bad. Choose one of your Mygo units from your bind zone and call it a rear. If your opponent's a grade three or greater, you choose two cards with different names. Okay, that's pretty cool. And if you didn't play an order this turn, you can counter blast one, search your deck, or drop for one of the musics, you know, Mygo, and play it. If you search your deck, of course, shuffle. So I went over the grade. One, you know, you get to call anything less than your vanguard from deck, as long as it's a chronic, so her. The grade two in this deck, when you're vanguard with Tamari Tatsumani, anything in your ride line, and it's card name attacks, choose one of your front row Mygo rearguard. Stand it. If your opponent's grade three or greater, you stand the whole column. What? Now the grade three... The grade three order is what makes me want to play this deck. The end of the turn, your grade three vanguard attacked. You have the... Her, Anon, Renee, Soyo, Chena. They all stand and get 5k power if your opponent is grade three or greater. Note, this is not grade restricted. If you see those four units in your opponent's grade two, you get a wail on them. People yell at me for Mushi King for getting high numbers. This multi attacks for free value, because don't forget, if you don't play a music, you can just counter blast one and play that from drop so you it's a free discard for a ride any of the music is or you just bring it from deck to deck thin it's insane but well, now what do the other cards do possibly so and on you know when this unit is placed counter blast one look at the top five cards choose a mygo and call it to rear so consistency pretty good and in the front row right at the end of the battle it attacked you can bind it to draw a card note for the grade three order 
you don't have to immediately bind it. You could swing, restand it, swing. Oh, and in the battle, draw a card. And what's the other gray too? You know, the other thing that, you know, people got to be aware of. On the front row on the left side. So, you know, you get that cute little left and right mechanic that you don't see anymore. When this unit attacks, it gets 5k until end of the turn. But at the end of that turn, bind it. So once again, this is an end of turn. So if she restands, she's still that 15k Vanguard. Well, not Vanguard, Rearguard. And when this unit stands by a music effect, if your opponent's grade 3 or greater, it gets drive checks. So if they're just a grade 3, it doesn't matter if it's the grade 2 being used or the grade 3. You get another drive check off her. That itself is crazy. I, Once again, going back to my Mushikin analogy, you counterblast two for that. She does it for standing. It does... She's playing into the deck. All right. Going over some more support before I literally continue to lose my mind. When it's placed, choose one of your units, and it gets 5k until end of turn. Once again, in the multi-attack, getting those magic numbers is beautiful. When this unit boost a Mygo, so any of them, Soul Blast 1, Guard Restrict, your opponent has to call two or more to guard. So, you know, you want to put it on the Drive Check Girl, you want to put it on her, you know, she draws you a card, but still, your opponent has to fear Criticals. And finally, we have the Lone Wolf when this unit is placed on rear, Soul Blast 1, look at the top three cards. Choose one Mygo music card, reveal it, put it in your hand. Oh look, another convenient place to get your music to play. And of course, when it's in your hand or at rear, at the beginning of the guard step of the battle, if Tamari is being attacked, you can bind this card, choose one of your units being attacked, it gets 10k. And you can do that before dedicating more guard or intercepting. In standard, where there is such deficit in guarding, this is great considering she just has to be on rear so she can back row intercept. She's doing Magnolia's thing, but better. But of course, because you need specific pieces going over the trigger, you of course have three draws because some a rear guard gets goes critical. Uh, not goes critical, gets a drive. We're playing all the extra crits. <laughs> and of course, just heal triggers. Uh, they don't really matter what. I just have the effect draws and four effect crits. So let me just quickly... Where's the single play? There it is. Yeah, um... Bot deck. You know what? Sure, she's fine. She can stay. We can bot deck that. PG not nah, too early in the game. Choose another, but when this unit boost, yeah, we're going to throw that back. So one, two, three, four. So normally when you're not mean, you don't get terrible luck. Say I'm going first. Draw. I got her drive checks. She's placed. At least I gotta look at my top five. So I'm probably gonna keep her. This unit is placed on your rear. Look at the top three. So I'm going to keep her to play immediately. So I'm probably going to get rid of my crit. I don't care if my opponent sees that. I get one music anyway. So to look. I'll probably say in the top 20. Yep. And this thing is terribly loud. I'm not going to call it back row because that's where all my music goes. And I don't want my thing being retired, or do I? Now we're going to do that. So blasto. She is top three. I'm just going to duck shuffle real quick. Because I want more music in my hands. Obviously, because I'm me, I don't get it. No, I'm going to play my music. 
for exactly her. Oh, sorry. I'm used to putting orders in the drop zone immediately after resolving. So now I got this decent hand, you know, field going. It's now the end of my turn. Yada, yada, yada. I'll take two. Oh, yeah, for sure. Stand and draw. <sighs> Why? I don't need the... All right. Because I can't have any standing. I'll ditch one of her for a ride. I like showing off decks, but uh, decks don't like when I show them off. I have to... No, nah, I can't even say when I show off. Whenever I play a deck, it hates me. All right, and I get a Mygo. Well, I was gonna call one of her anyway. All right, activate her effect because, you know, when a unit other than a crowd is placed during your turn, she goes into soul and I draw a card. Oh, look, I got music. So I get another one if I want. However, bothersome. I'll always do this. Just because I can bind her, so it's no real deficit to me. And I might as well deck thing. Nope. I did not mean to deck check. To top a deck. Power reset. Oh, dear God, no. Now I got a nice whole looking field. My Vanguard's only 10, so drive check. Funny enough is I did get that crit trigger. So assuming my opponent said no guard, all effects the van, they're at two. This will be the, ne the smallest in case they get a defensive uh let's say they guard that this however will be 23 actually she binds i draw a card you know i attack she's on the front left uh she gets bound no effect that ends my turn i'm going to take i'll just say two because i got that crit and another crit all the crits coming so my turn stand and draw See, I do have this in hand, but I want to keep some garden. So I'm just going to get rid of that music for my ride. Uh, so she goes to soul. I draw a card. Oh, look, it's a magical grade three. However, don't really need to do that. First, I'm going to activate her effect. So list. Uh, yeah, we're done with her, so we can throw her to drop. <laughs> Call these the rear, and once again, I'm activating her on place, so I can counter blast one. Look at top five. I can choose up to one, and I want to call any of them. And obviously I want to play this grade three, but I don't have all of them. So I'm actually going to activate her effect to counter blast to actually play the grade two from drop. And now uh, when one of my units attacks, I can stand it. You know, my opponent is in grade three, so I don't get the whole column. But they are grade two, so my turn, I will swing. 10, draw. Oh, look, a heal trigger. I will swing. Uh, I'll do 18. It doesn't very matter what, because I'll swing. Activate the effect of my music. Stand. 
And when this unit is stand by your card effect, you're not grade three, so it doesn't get a drive check. But if it did, it'd be nice. I still get my two though. PG, a crit. So she gets, of course, power. Vanguard gets a crit. She swings. She gets plus five. End of turn. Bound. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine cards in hand, and I don't have to commit any of them, considering I can just keep soul blasting to get my grades. Technically, I think I cheated, because I'm still getting used to them. I don't read because I think I called two and my opponent wasn't a grade three Vanguard because I went first. But still, this deck is nuts. And I hope people actually give it a try. Like, I'm actually going to get all of these. Uh, but if you made it this far, thank you for listening to my ramblings. And see you in the next video.